Hi guys, so never did I ever think I was going to be here doing a Birkenstock shoe review because honestly I think they're literally, besides Crocs, the ugliest shoes in the world. But after walking around Croatia and Ibiza and getting blisters in my flats because it was so hot and humid, like the feet were so moist, I was just getting so much friction. Everyone was like wearing band-aids and plasters because everyone was getting blisters. I was trying to find a better solution because yes, sneakers are great. They're good for walking, but they don't always look cute with outfits. So if you're going for a lunch or you're just walking around the city, I don't want to be in my sneakers all day. So I ordered, I got, I did, I ordered Birkenstocks because they're known for being comfortable. They're known for being supportive um, and they're handcrafted shoe footbed. So I wanted to give them a go. And I also didn't think this version, which is the big buckle sandal in white, was the ugly. It's the double strap ones. I'm just like, oh, grandma shoes or gardening shoes are just not cute. So anyway, I found these white giant buckle Birkenstocks. So let's take a look. So Birkenstocks have actually been around since 1774. They only came to the US in 1966, but they were originally made and they still manufactured. the handcrafted in Germany. So these are the giant buckle ones. I ordered a 37 in this style. I'll put the style name there because I'm not sure how to pronounce it. They say they're on true to size, so I ordered a 37, a US 7. So we'll see what I think, how true to size they actually run. So first impression out of the box, they're not actually that ugly, are they? They're actually quite cute. Well, cute as far as like comfortable flat sandals go. I do like the giant buckle on there. The other reason I got these is I can't wear flip-flops normally because my feet just fall off the side. These, because of the structure on the footbed, the anatomical style, it keeps your feet in place. They can't slide forward or backwards or off the side. So I really, really like that about them. So one of the things that makes Birkenstock so comfortable, or supposedly, I'm going to wear these for a week before I finish this review because I always feel like I do reviews too quickly. I'll put shoes on and be like, oh yeah, they're comfortable without, and especially with a comfort shoe, I need to wear these. I need to get some serious mileage on them and let you know if they actually are comfortable. But the reason they say they're comfortable is because of the classic footbed. So the classic footbed has four different layers, which ensures, it's supposed to ensure its comfort and construction. So this flexible shock absorbing cork layer, oh my gosh, I have difficulty getting my words out, is supposed to absorb the shock and help relieve pressure points on the feet. And then the other three layers are supposed to help with the shoe's shape, flexibility, and stability. So that's the reasoning between the four layers. So the upper is a pebbled leather, and then the base is an EVA sole, and then the inside is that smooth suede, and then leather footbed. All of the materials are supposed to be sustainable. And then this is the adjustable buckle. So this is the fit of the 37. I find that absolutely perfect from the front to the back and width-wise. I think that's very true to size. And then when we're looking from the front to the back as well as the width, they seem a really, really good fit. Once you've done those buckles up the first time, you don't have to do them up again. It is kind of one and done and you can adjust them to fit. Now they do feel quite high. I feel like I might have to put an extra hole in the buckles just to make them tighter and more snug along the top so I don't flip flop up and down. I know they are flip flops, but so I don't flop around quite so much and that they give me more support. Anyway, I'm gonna give these a trial run for a week, get some mileage on them, report back. It's still really hot here. It's still over 100 degrees. So my feet will get nice and hot in them and we'll see if they give us any blisters, if there's any pressure points and if they're actually comfortable because if I'm going to wear a shoe like this, if I'm sacrificing style, it has to be comfortable. Okay guys, as promised, I've been taking these out for a test run all week. The issue so far is this right buckle. It doesn't matter how much I tug it, it kind of bubbles up versus that one staying flat. The other issue is on my right foot. I'm getting a pressure point on that where that left strap is on here. So that's kind of a little bit painful. So we'll see if they break in during the week. Okay, so I've had these Birkenstocks large buckle sandals for two months now. So I thought I would finish off this review and let you know my thoughts on whether they're comfortable, whether I'm wearing them, whether they're worth it or not. So my biggest thing was I wanted to get Birkenstocks purely for comfort because like I said before, 
walking around in slides in the summer and the heat and the humidity, I was getting blisters. So I got these thinking, oh, they're known for their support. They're known for their comfort. They kind of had a bit of a comeback, especially after Margot Robbie was wearing them in the Barbie movie. So I gave them a go and honestly, they are a miss for me. And there's a couple of reasons why. One being, don't kill me for saying this Birkenstocks, I just almost was like embarrassed wearing them. I just, the brand for me is not kind of a cool, trendy brand. I felt like I was wearing a grandma brand. I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but that's my personal feelings. Secondly, they weren't as comfortable as I thought they were going to be. They kind of, because they've got that lip on there, that lip, yes, it kept your feet from going over the edges, but it's really, really hard and it does put pressure on the ends of your toes. And I also did find they rubbed a bit along the tops of the leather uppers as well. And then thirdly, I thought, okay, worst case scenario, I can pop them on to do grocery store runs or just errands locally. But honestly, I didn't feel safe wearing them to drive in because the soles are too thick in them. So you can't feel the pedals. I actually think in England, it's legal to drive in flip flops. I might be wrong on that, but I think my parents said that is a fact. So double check that. I don't think you can even wear these to drive there. And for me, I wouldn't wear them to drive here because I just didn't feel safe. It's the same as I wouldn't drive in wedges. So these for me are a miss. I'm sorry if I'm missing something Birkenstocks. I know so many people love them. So don't take my word as gospel. This is just my personal thoughts on the big buckle style. Maybe the big buckle style isn't as comfortable as other styles, but it does have kind of their same, that, the footbed that they're known for and that cork sole and the support. So anyway, these were a fail for me. I'm going to keep them maybe for wandering around the pool in the garden or something, but they're definitely not going to be an everyday comfortable shoe for me. I'm gonna try loafers instead because I think loafers might be a better bet for walking in. And also, especially since socks are in, I can wear socks with them so that'll prevent any blisters or rubbing as well. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to try them for yourself, I will link them in the description as well.